Congratulations on the purchase of your new Continental Crimper. This machine is designed for years of reliable, worry-free operation. In this video, we discuss the PC440 as well as the PC600L. These units are designed for hoses 1 quarter inch up to 2 and a half inches in diameter of two braid and six spiral construction, or up to six inches in diameter of industrial hose. While these units operate very similarly, there are subtle differences. Please note that some steps or features may not be applicable to your specific machine, and the following symbols will aid in identifying the applicable parts of this video. Refer to your operator's manual for more information. Both the PC440 and PC600L come equipped with the electronic ACT controller. The ACT controller has the ability to perform a number of fully automatic functions as well as manually when required. In auto mode, the foot switch or the green buttons will function as cycle start and cycle stop buttons. In semi-auto mode, the foot switch or the close button will close the crimper head but must be held throughout the crimping process as releasing it will halt the closing action. Finally, in manual mode, the green buttons will open and close the crimper head. The crimper skit comes with up to 14 dies appropriate to the model of machine purchased. They are color-coded and labeled for quick and easy identification. In addition to the crimper and dies, the only additional tools that may be required for operation are calipers or micrometers, as well as safety glasses or other protective devices that may be required by your employer. Your freestanding crimper should be placed in an open, well-lit area so that a hose assembly may be inserted and removed easily from either side without making contact with a wall or work surface. When moving the device, remember to use proper lifting techniques and always follow safety protocol when using a forklift. Be sure to check the electrical circuit matches the crimper requirements, which can be found on the tag attached to the crimper cord. Ensure that the motor rotates in the direction of the arrow shown on the motor housing. Next, ensure that the oil level is visible in the sight glass window. The reservoir requires eight gallons of ISO grade 46 hydraulic oil for complete fill. If necessary, oil can be drained from either of the two ports at the bottom of the reservoir. Selecting the correct die for use is vital for proper crimper operation. To begin, use the hose and fitting crimp spec chart provided in your crimp spec manual to select the correct hose and fitting for your project. In this example, we are using an S4SP-08 hose, which requires an SG fitting. We will be using die set 27 brown with a setting of 2.4. It is important to note that the Continental line of crimpers come with a variety of die sets. The master dies come factory installed in both the PC440 and the PC600L, whereas the intermediate industrial and hydraulic dies come uninstalled in the crimper. To install the die set into your crimper, first bring the crimper to the fully closed position and lubricate the master dies through the holes in the protective plates using the provided Molly disulfide grease and a grease gun with a flush fitting adapter. Please refer to the operator's manual for all of the additional grease locations. With the die still in the fully closed position, lubricate the other fittings visible through the additional lubrication holes in the protective plate of the crimper. For the PC600L, the top two lubrication holes need to be lubricated first while the master dies are in the fully closed position. Then, move the master dies to the fully open position and lubricate visible fittings through the bottom two holes. The crimper needs to be lubricated every 400 or 100 crimp cycles, or at the start of each shift if it is used in a production setting. Failure to lubricate the crimper can cause premature failure, loss of accuracy, and may result in costly repairs to the crimper. Then, place the crimper in die change mode by pressing the change die button in the bottom left-hand corner of the controller. This mode allows the operator to open and close the crimper to the full extent of its travel. Close the crimper down to where the tool with the dies has just enough room to fit inside the opening. Slowly close the crimper to engage all eight die studs. Note, it is helpful if you rest the tool at the six o'clock position and hold the handle perpendicular to the front of the crimper. Prior to crimping the hose, it is important to verify the insertion length. This number can be found in your crimp spec manual or by using the Contitech crimp app, 
which also provides information on die set selection. Ensure the hose is cut cleanly and mark the correct insertion depth using calipers. To make a manual crimp, two numbers are needed, the finished crimp diameter and the closed diameter of the die in either inches or millimeters. Always select the die set closest but smaller to the diameter needed in millimeters. To begin, press start on the ACT controller monitor and select crimp to diameter. Enter the finished crimp diameter and press enter. Next, enter the closed diameter of the die set in either inches or millimeters and press enter. From the enter crimp screen, press the manual button to put the crimper in manual mode and confirm that the die and finished crimp diameters are correct. Next, fully insert the hose into the fitting, ensuring that the correct insertion depth is achieved. You may twist and rotate the fitting as needed. Finally, insert the assembly into the crimper and press the green close button. After finishing the crimping process, measure all four flat sides in the center of the crimp to ensure the finished crimp is within the tolerances provided in your crimp spec manual. Do not measure over the ridges of the crimp surface. If necessary, small adjustments can be made to the crimp size by pressing the Adjust Crimp button in the bottom right-hand corner of the controller. To make an adjustment, enter the measurement taken from the calipers. Note, this mode takes the reading off the hose end you just crimped, and if that measurement is out of spec, the machine automatically calculates the value needed for adjustment. To make an industrial hose crimp, select Crimp to Diameter on the main screen. Then, Select the Industrial Crimp option. First, enter the stem diameter in inches. This measurement should be taken over the barbs of the stem. Next, measure the hose wall thickness at three different points and enter the measurements into the machine. The controller will automatically average the measurements for the crimp calculation. Enter the ferrule wall thickness measurement and the compression factor. All industrial hoses have a 22% compression factor, unless it is a lay-flat hose, in which case it has a 10% compression factor. Press the Process button to get the final crimp diameter in inches or millimeters. Select the proper die size closest to, but smaller, in order to make the crimp. To make an automatic crimp, use the manual backstop or learn about additional features of the ACT controller. Refer to the instructions in your operator's manual. The ACT controller also comes pre-installed with all standard Continental crimps. These can be accessed through the Crimp Memory home screen. The controller also has the ability to save up to 150 unique crimp presets. In order to save a crimp, press the Save button at the bottom of the ACT controller. In this example, we are going to save a half-inch crimp. First, select the half-inch crimp storage button Select the first available space, in this case 31, and that number will appear at the bottom of the screen. Then select Edit and the blank description box. A keypad will appear where you can type in the unique name for your saved crimp. When done, select ENT in the top right corner of the keypad. To finish saving the crimp, press the Save button. You can now select Use Save Crimp to access and load your save crimp presets rather than selecting crimp to diameter to prepare a crimp. Continental crimpers are designed for years of trouble-free operation and include features to aid in making crimps quickly and accurately. If you have any further questions, please contact your local Continental representative.